I want to begin by acknowledging my Coast Salish brothers and sisters, Tsleil-Waututh, Squamish, and Musqueam. And I want to take a moment to thank all those beautiful people that work so hard to bring us together and give us this opportunity to, in a very public way, express our, our unconditional love for Mother Earth. I want to thank those people for their long hours of planning and organizing, for their dedication and commitment, who have for many, many years worked so hard to draw public awareness to the devastating, catastrophic impacts of global warming and climate change. Clearly, this issue is about life or death of Mother Earth. Already, there have been hundreds of thousands of people who have died as a result of drought and mass starvation as a consequence of climate change and global warming. And we know, all of us know, that the fossil fuel industry has invested millions and billions of dollars in the cli climate denial public relations campaign. But now the truth is irrefutable. The mass migrations of people around the globe, here at home, the, the forest fires, the drought conditions, the devastation to wild salmon who are already in a precarious state as a consequence of the industrialization of fish farms and the predations of the oil and gas industry. <laughs> what gets me out of bed every morning, and I just recently celebrated my 66th birthday, is my beautiful wife Joan and I have been blessed with 15 of the most beautiful grandchildren in the entire universe. And I know in my heart of hearts that the actions we take, the decisions we make, and the work we do or don't do will depend the future um, will change the future of all of our grandchildren. And it's incumbent upon all of us to realize as grandparents, parents, aunts and uncles, leaders, that we have a duty